Hello everyone, I am so happy to be back. My absence was only temporary as I needed some time for myself. Throughout the month, I began to understand that sometimes life isn't as beautiful as we would wish. But regardless of the days ahead, empathy, love, and happiness begins within ourselves and can transform the way we look at life. There's a garden in all of us that grants strength over our weaknesses, and sometimes it allows us to transform our emotions and feelings into art. I appreciate the small moments where I can create something and it brings me authentic joy. A journal palette book where paper, flowers, and fabrics are heirloom treasures for our craft. I designed the cover to mimic a vintage book with the cover, the spine, everything needed to fill up your book and make it special to you. Individual pages, as well as pockets and decorative pieces. To assemble your book, you need to fold along the lines on the front and on the back. Your creases will create a spine that will be repeated throughout the rest of the pages in the book. Once you have your cover and inside pages selected and creased, you can then connect all of them through the middle spine. This is how we're going to bind the pages within the book. You can also print the design on thin copy paper, so you can fold it in half instead of having a reinforced spine to include in your journals or even traveler's notebooks. For my palette book, I printed the designs on thick cardstock so it would be nice and sturdy. I am applying glue in the middle spine and I'm going to be adhering my pages right where the spines meet, in the middle for every individual page. To decorate the white spaces, I like to print out my design on thin paper and adhere it and cover up the areas that are blank. In order to avoid this step, you can also print double-sided but I wanted to share with you how easy it is to cover up those blank areas using the printable or any paper that you already have on hand. Now it's time to decorate the middle part of our book. I created and designed some beautiful French papers. I wanted to create my version of some French ledgers in the colors that I love. I also wanted to create some floral decorative paper using my designs and some antique papers as well. No journal is complete without pockets, so I'm taking the decorative pieces from the palette book printable to create text spots and belly bands. I am using adhesive, however you can use a sewing machine to adhere your pockets, belly bands, and pages into your book. Does anyone else get super excited once you have already finished the base or construction of a little journal 
or of a book like this and the decorating part comes next and you just get so giddy inside. I have a specific idea in mind for the journal palette books. I want them to be a place of inspiration for all of you, for those of you who create journals, for those of you who like journaling, for all of you who have a creative flower in you. This book is supposed to help you store everything that you love to develop your own style. A beautiful book where you can keep your palettes of patterns that you love, of colors that you love, little samples and bits and pieces of treasures that you find, both fabric or paper, to keep them in a little book and create your own journal palette book. In the inside I have little fragment pieces where you can do some journaling or you can add your sample of fabric or paper. Here I added a little belly band so that I could add a full designer card on there and then in the middle of the signature right now I added a pocket, a little tech spot, and another belly band to have three more areas to store some of my fragment pieces and some of my sentiments. And the best part is the way that you bind it together, very similar to my envelope journal. You just continue to glue papers into that spine and you can continue adding as many pages as you'd like. Which is the best part because you can always continue to grow and develop your palette book. Now is when I can take my designer cards, which are essentially cards that I have created for you or samples of patterns, and then do some journaling about that particular design or colors. You can also use these as normal journaling cards. Imagine putting this in a journal, a picture of you and your loved one, and then journaling about your day. So I wanted to include some basic, simple ones that you can customize, as well as some designer cards that already have paint on them, little swatches and the names of the paint, and then some sweet little sentiments. I love incorporating color cards. You saw this in the Artist in Bloom journals. So I wanted to give you guys little samples of some of my favorite paint combinations. I love these palette cards as well, beautiful pastel blue. And then of course some simple ones that you can journal on top or use as normal journaling cards. And of course the decorative fragments is I think what I'm most excited about because you get so many different patterns and colors. I went through my collection and I picked out some really old antique French fabrics absolutely loved the colors and the patterns together. It's just gorgeous pieces of fabric that I wanted to share with you all in little fragment forms that you can put into your palette book. Also wanted to share some beautiful wallpapers from my collection. Beautiful colors, you can cut them out individually or use them as strips. Imagine putting this as a little tip in or as a pocket on a page. Some vintage French documents with some beautiful florals on them. So there's a plethora of things to use. It's like a little puzzle. You can find and pick and choose the pieces that you love the most. I absolutely adore the decorative fragments because you have so much to choose from and so much to decorate your palette book or any other journal that you'd like. Now, of course, I wanted to also create some sentiment fragments, but this time I wanted to give you guys a decorative background. They remind me of the quotes that you'd find in fortune cookies, which I love beautiful little sentiments, also some blank labels so that you can add your own sentiments into your journal palette book or for journaling, and then some beautiful decorative pieces to inspire you as well. So I'm going to have some fun playing around with my sentiments, my decorative fragments, and also my designer and palette cards. I am thrilled to fill this out and I'm really excited to see how you guys end up decorating one as well. The first page is always the one that's the most nerve-wracking, as you never know what to fully decorate it with. However, I wanted to stick to using my fragments as decorative pieces and as samples of papers that I love. I am taking one of my fragment strips and backing them with some decorative French ledger from my printable and I'm attaching it into my palette book with some washi tape. This way you have layers in between the actual pages, adds dimension, and gives you more surface area to decorate.
you can also include actual fabric samples within your palette book as well. Using real textiles gives so much texture within the pages of your palette book. I adhere the fabric with a fabric adhesive. You can also stitch it with a sewing machine. Create fabric flips or permanently adhere them onto your page. I love to leave blank spaces for my writing. Simple phrases where I can remember where I purchased certain treasures from and why I love them so much. You can also take samples of your favorite colors, of paint palettes, to inspire you when you're creating a journal, or to create your own custom color palette to help you with your journaling process. I wanted to decorate the last few pages with some French embroidery trims that I recently designed. During this pandemic, I ordered a little set of French antique trims that took about four months to reach me, but when the parcel finally came, I was blown away with inspiration and I wanted to create my own version of French vintage trims that I can add and keep in my journals. Sometimes the smallest things, such as fabric trims, put a smile on your face. And I wanted to keep them in my palette book as a scrapbook to document the beautiful treasures that I have collected over the years. I am so happy to be back. I have missed this family so much, and I hope that your days are full of peace and love. See you very soon.